of proximal development. The zone of proximal development is very important aspect of the argument that sociocultural theory places for learning, also second language learning. It argues that zone of uh, uh, the proximal development is the domain or the knowledge or the skill that is just a little beyond the, uh, the grasp of the learner. However, the learner can learn, uh, be there or learn the, the, those components with the help of a more able peer or a teacher. So it's not just a teacher who can help the child to be there, but a more able peer, that is a child who is already there, can also help the learner to, um, to uh, grasp the knowledge that is just a little beyond them. So, zone of proximal development means the domain that is out there which the child himself or herself cannot reach until assisted by someone. So, this is actually the difference between what a child can achieve independently and what a child can achieve with assistance. So, when we talk about that learning can only happen in the zone of proximal development, then uh, if we say that this within this zone of uh, proximal development, knowledge can only be constructed with the help of others, whoever that other might be, then we are saying that social interaction is highly important for the child to move from one stage to the other stage. Now, once the child is in the zone of proximal development, the learning that takes place should bring a qualitative change in the learner's understanding and the skill that he or she is developing. So there has to be a change and there is a change in the zone of proximal development. And this change is the sort of change that enables the child to resolve similar problems on their own uh, in future. So the child, for instance, has um, a grasp over certain structures. So, in those structures or, or, or in those areas, his or her learning is self-regulated. Then comes another step that is the zone of proximal development. And the child is ready to learn new things. But the child can not possibly learn it unless there is other regulation. Other regulation, if you would remember, we talked about related to the guidance that needs to be provided through social interaction to the child. So the child, once there, ready in, the, in his or her developmental stage, gets this and then he or she moves on to the next stage of self-regulation. So at the end of the zone of proximal development, the child is able to self-regulate the whatever the uh, after the learning has been taken place. However, this would mean then the zone of proximal development would move on to the next stage. So, if, so uh, when the structure um, uh, has been learned, then the next zone of proximal development will shift to the next structure, which the child cannot reach or the learner cannot reach unless without guidance. So it keeps on moving ahead and the child keeps on moving from self-regulation to other regulation and then conquering that with, uh, uh, with, uh, with help and then uh, moving on, getting this self uh, autonomy in the learning and then moving on and being ready for the zone of proximal development. So what we are saying is, that the zone of proximal development would constantly shift as the child conquers or learns new structures in the language.